Every once in a while, Hollywood needs a good proverbial punch to the face to remind them that they are in the business of making products that no one really needs, and audiences just delivered one over Madam Web. That is going to have some repercussions, and you'll hardly believe which ones. The last time Sony, spurred on by then-head honcho Amy Pascal, tried to force a primarily boys brand into a female-centric direction, with Ghostbusters 2016, it lost them an astounding 70 million. That's a lot of money for a company like Sony, so that punch to the nose taught them the valuable lesson to stay out of such overtly politicized entertainment. For a while, at least. But in an industry where the kings on top of the hill, like Disney, are willing to flush billions upon billions of shareholder value down the drain on signaling the virtue of the C-suite, even smaller studios will eventually forget how badly the gender-bent Ghostbusters punch to the nose hurt and try again. And that's how we end up with a movie like Madam Web. As we saw in an earlier Madam Web video, the sole pitch behind it, from once again Amy Pascal of Ghostbusters fame, was that it was female-centric and would feature an all-female team and nothing else. That was it, that was the extent of the pitch. There wasn't even a clear idea of which female characters to put in it, or what story to tell. The only thing that mattered was that it was all-female, the rest was filled in from there, and ironically, with nothing but filler characters. Apart from Madame Webb herself, who is an inconsequential side character at best, the rest of the women in the team are scraping the absolute bottom of the battle of the entire Spider-Man license. That this could ever have been greenlit in the first place defies belief. That the writers of Morbius were assigned to flesh out the script, while S.J. Clarkson, who in no way is equipped for feature films, was handed directorial duties, is utterly insane. Even if the movie was already in the can by the time audiences worldwide collectively rejected the Marvels, the indicators that audiences were getting fed up with propagandistic virtue-signaling productions such as this were already there by the time cameras rolled. So Sony has no excuse for having gone forth with this production, and they deserve to lose every dollar it's going to lose. And they will lose on it. The movie is set to open slightly north of 25 million domestically, and twice that worldwide, which isn't as bad as feared, or hoped, depending on where you're standing. But it means Sony better brace themselves for a loss in the tens of millions range. The movie is also going to hurt the careers of everyone involved. Dakota Johnson even fired her agent after returning from the shoot. The good news, though, is that it might not have been entirely for nothing. Between the Marvels and now Madam Web, the industry received yet another well-earned proverbial punch in the face, and they felt it. Case in point, by way of the anklet, Bounding into Comics is reporting that another female-centric Spider-Man spin-off production without Spider-Man is getting retooled. More specifically, it is the Amazon series co-produced by Sony, Silk, Spider Society. The article writes, according to the latest whispers vibrating through the World Wide Web, Amazon's upcoming Silk Spider Society has cleaned out its writer's room in service of a massive from-the-ground-up retooling of the series' entire creative direction. This would have happened before the box office numbers for Madam Web were in, but Sony knew from box office tracking that it was destined to flop and flop hard months ago, so it's hard to believe that the inevitable failure of Madam Web didn't directly influence this retooling. Let's see what it would have been. Produced by Sony Pictures Television in partnership with Amazon MGM, the series is set to follow the story of one Cindy Moon, a young woman with her own set of spider powers who, per the series' official logline, escapes imprisonment and searches for her missing family on her way to becoming the superhero Silk. Yeah, that sounds like another Spider-Man less Spider-Man spin-off winner for Sony right there. Eventually, the article continues. 
Though it first entered full production in November of 2022, the onset of the 2023 Writers Guild of America strike resulted in the series being put on indefinite hold until the labor dispute eventually came to a close in September of 2023. Well, they should be thankful for the strike then, because now at least they have a chance to retool, otherwise they'd be locked in and headed for failure. Following the strike's conclusion, Deadline reports that, per their sources, the Silk Spider Society Writers' Room had been looking to get back in the saddle sometime in mid to late January of 2023. However, if a recent report from entertainment news outlet The Ankler is to be believed, these plans for the writers' returns have instead turned into plans for a complete project restart. That's good news. Not as good as the series being scrapped altogether, of course, which would have been the only right thing to do here. But this at least opens the door to a few more false starts, buying them time to realize that scrapping this is the only way to go. The article continues. Relaying information provided to her by a supposed source, staff writer Elaine Lowe alleged that not only had the series recently let go of its entire writer's room, minus its showrunner, Angela Kang, and one of the co-executive producers, despite them having already written several episodes, but that it was also being refocused with a more male-skewing audience in mind, a la Reacher, Jack Ryan, and The Terminal List all three of which have been some of Amazon's most popular streaming offerings. That's actually really interesting, so allow me to clarify the distinction. Whenever you make something female-centric, like Ghostbusters 2016, or The Marvels, or even Madame Web, that means it is essentially made to be inaccessible for men. They may as well put on the poster, No men allowed, this isn't for you. The built-in audience for anything female-centric is exclusively female. Only a good chunk of the female audience will sit out anything female-centric as well, because it's just too extreme for them. Case in point, the feminist female-centric Charlie's Angels reboot opened within weeks of Rambo Last Blood. But if you break down the movie-going audience by gender, then you'll find that more women went to see Rambo than went to see the female-centric Charlie's Angels. Because anything that is made to appeal to men, if done right, will automatically appeal to women as well. Case in point, the MCU was going from strength to strength and winning over audiences of both genders across language and cultured barriers across the world when Ike Perlmutter ensured it was made to be toyetic and with a built-in appeal to the male target audience. That's when the women flocked to the MCU as well. So, if Sony and Amazon really wants to bring back a male-skewing audience, they can begin with cancelling Silk outright and they just might. The article continues. Alongside Silk Spider Society, Lowe reports that Amazon is also making moves on their previously announced Spider-Man Watch series, having entered negotiations with the heroes into the Spider-Verse voice actor Nicolas Cage to reprise the role in live action. Further, these two series are only two of the multiple live-action Spider-Man spin-offs currently in the works at Amazon, though as of writing, the company is keeping the identities of their other projects tightly under wraps. Who knows where this will go, but it would appear that at least some are beginning to understand that women never asked for every comic book movie under the sun to be made female-centric, so they're simply not going to them. If the industry wants to bring back the comic book genre, they have to begin with going back to what Ike Perlmutter figured out more than three decades ago. If you make it for the built-in male audience and do it right, you'll appeal to everyone. Otherwise, you appeal to no one. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments.